already September's harvest moon lighting up our skies tonight. Bella Luna, the harvest moon is the closest full moon to the start of fall, which star, uh, starts officially on Wednesday. But look at that picture when there's maybe a little smoke or haze in the air, you get that orange moon, Natasha. Isn't that beautiful? It is. And you know what I love best about this? Is that we're listening to Neil Young right Neil now. Young. <laughs> I'm going back to my, I think, junior high school days. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. that is fun. Yeah, a perfect night to view the moon. I yeah. mean, it could not be more no, crystal clear. Just picture perfect. It's great. We moved out the smoke. We had a lot of rain over the weekend, and now we're left with a nice view of the moon. This is a Kalama right now. This is your view as you look out to the south southeast as this moon moves about. It continues to climb higher in the sky. In fact, you know what's really cool about the full moon is that when you have a little bit of snow on the ground, it actually illuminates. It illuminates the snow tenfold. Look at that timberline. This is looking at Palmer Snowfield. Now, granted, we had just a dusting of snow over the weekend, but because we had some snow, you can actually see this illuminated by the full moon. I think that's pretty cool. It's 49 degrees up there at Timberline. Okay, so with this being the harvest moon, yes, you know, Jeff was just talking about it, closest to the fall equinox is we're going to get. Uh, what you can expect tomorrow, you'll have partly cloudy skies tomorrow, but the moon will still be big. Tonight's temperatures will be in the 50s. So we are under this nice big ridge of high pressure right now and through tomorrow. So tomorrow your temperatures are going to climb. They're going to climb into the low 80s. Today we were up to about 73. Tomorrow likely 82 or 83 degrees. And then after that, that ridge breaks down and eventually we get to some cooler conditions, even a chance to bring in a little bit of rain, but not the kind of rain that we had over the weekend. So here's your planner for tomorrow. Tomorrow waking up to temperatures in the 50s, right around 7 o'clock in the morning, you're at about 53 degrees. By 10 o'clock, you're at 64. Now notice here, our northerly flow goes from northerly to more of an offshore flow. So things are not only heating up, but they're also starting to dry out. So our dew points are gonna fall. So if you're one of those folks who are kind of sensitive to our dew points dropping, meaning it's dry out there, well, get the bottle of lotion ready because tomorrow's temperatures are going to be in the low 80s and our dew points are dropping easterly wind expected for most of the day. We'll talk about the rest of your seven day forecast coming up. Okay, the Neil Young song, Harvest Moon, it was released in 1992, so there's no way I was in junior high then. <laughs> are I was you in sure? I was in elementary school. Okay. Back then. <laughs> yeah. cool. Next.